Hello. Hi. Hello. My shirt is M&M's on it, guys. Hello, my people. Hi, daddy. It's a dad shirt, I will say. So, I'm moving out of LA. Ah! Kids, we're moving. I have lived here for four years. I will probably be back at some point. I'll definitely be back and forth, but for now, LA is in a very healthy environment for me. I mean, I really need to work on myself. So, I'm going to be actually living with my family for a little bit while I just work on my mental health, but that means saying goodbye to my really cool apartment. Ah! But it's okay. <laughs> Honestly, this apartment, as beautiful as it is, definitely doesn't always have the best memories associated with it, so I'm pretty happy to move. Yeah! I'm so proud of myself. I made a great TikTok of my room all packed up. It's really cool. I've been working on my TikTok. And also, um, if you didn't know I was moving, follow Jessie Page on Instagram. It clears your skin. See how cute I look? To follow Jesse Page on Instagram on my other Instagram. <laughs> Anyways, my people, I've realized I've never shown you this room because I kind of like don't like to mix work with my relaxing. That was not an inappropriate thing. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to show everyone my room because I think it's really cute. It's underwater themed. I am a mermaid. You see, I filmed a music video and the ultimate special effect was that I touched the water and I didn't turn into a mermaid. It took a lot of editing to edit out the, the tail. Anyways, I have a mermaid themed room and I'm so excited to show you guys. Welcome! Are you ready? Also, I've just been going through a lot. My comments have continued to be so supportive. <laughs> And to every person watching this, that means a lot to me. When people are like, take a break as long as you need, that's really appreciated. Thank you, I love you. Okay, wholesome, now I need meme energy. I'm wearing an M&M shirt, okay. <laughs> Let's go, I'm gonna pick up my camera and I'm going to start this room tour. This is my last day in LA, which is really crazy. I wanted to film this before I say bye forever. Also partly for myself, but also for the kids. I look hot. Date me. I'm gonna give you a little grand tour. Oh wow, okay, that's really messy. I apologize, but that's because I'm moving. Out here, this is, there's so many boxes, but this is my 80s theme room, which I filmed separately. So then you go around the corner, there's the little area where I like to work, and then you go over here. I don't know where this came from, but it's there. Knock on wood. I wanna hit two million followers on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> Life is more than followers, but it does mean a lot when people support my message. Here's my room! Ah! So I'm gonna start here, where you first walk in. Over here, there's my bathroom, over there, and then that's my closet. It's packed a lot, but we have so many dad shirts! I love dad shirts. Can you tell? I love dad shirts. <laughs> this is my little closet. This is where I have all my clothes I wear all the time. It's so much rainbow! It's exactly what you'd expect of Jesse Page's closet. If you're not new, you know. We just got some fun, like, eccentric dad shirts. It's a Pokemon shirt! I just really like to wear colorful clothing. It makes me happy. I really like to express myself and kind of wear the stuff that other people would view as ugly. We have some fun hats. I was gonna make a Brendan Urie reference, but I don't know if he'd wear this. <laughs> I filmed the gayest video yesterday, my hair kept straightening, and I was like, this is ironic. Yeah, I was like, do not straighten. For today, do not be straight. That is all this up here. There we go, there we go. I have comfy sweaters. I'm not gonna lie, so I have recently gained a lot of weight, which was good, very healthy for me. I suffered from multiple eating disorders, but it sucks because as cool as this clothing is, a lot of it doesn't fit me. So I don't know. Let me know if you'd want me to do a giveaway or something. But at the same time, I don't want to trigger anyone. But obviously, some people just are naturally smaller. And also, I'm 5'10". So I hope some of this clothing fits some of you guys. So I'll show you my shoes. Most of them are packed, like my favorite shoes. But I love these. They're my favorite. Fun vans with cool designs. These are my phantom shoes. If any of you guys watch the Phantom Music video, of course, that would be great. Support your father's projects. Some fun black heels, some fun shoes. We have this corner right here, and then my bed. I guess these are supposed to resemble sea urchins, or they're just for decor. I kind of assumed that. <laughs> like, here they are on the wall. I thought they were super sick. I, I kind of wanted like a mature mermaid themed room, as long as that makes sense. I actually wanted to uh, throw this in there because I was actually thinking about it, and I was like, obviously, I don't have the ability to 
cure depression because I'm not cured and that's something I've really been dealing with. Honestly, the past year of my life and I haven't even recognized it. Um, and I was like, oh, I've never dealt with depression, but I have for like the first time in my life and it's been crazy for me. Anyways, I have found some ways to just alleviate symptoms that are associated with it, which is obviously totally separate from relieving depression because that's different. But I wanted to share it with my people. I have a lot of really bad insomnia associated with my depressive thoughts. And if you suffer from any form of insomnia, mental illness, sleep-related issues correlated with mental illness, I just thought I'd share some tips. I have started taking... Obviously, I'm not sponsored because this is just a supplement. <laughs> it's a micronutrient. Magnesium is not a brand. I love taking magnesium before I go to sleep. It's a muscle relaxer, so if you deal with anxiety before you go to sleep, and that's sometimes why you can't sleep, it also helps in that way. But it also naturally helps your body produce melatonin, and um, it's honestly saved my life in a lot of ways. So I just thought I'd share that. Obviously, it doesn't cure depression, but I know I'm more depressed when I'm sleep deficient. Oh my god, wow, my nails match my... Okay, anyways, I don't know. I was just thinking about it this morning. Ooh, and I was like, that's just been super helpful. So I just thought I'd share a tip with my kit. I have an air conditioner because I need to sleep with my room freezing. If I'm not freezing cold, I also can't sleep. And then I like to spray with pillow spray because it makes me feel fancy. Since recovering from my eating disorder, I'm not used to having boobs. And it's been an interesting experience, for sure. Bras. Bathing suits, most of these don't fit me anymore. Over here, we have my lamp, and it has a seashell on it. I thought that was super cool. This is important. I have a Bulbasaur, he's right here. So next to my lamp, I have a Bulbasaur, and you can put a little plant in there if you have a little cactus that lasts a while. We have a seahorse, seashell, and a starfish, and then an old laptop. Blush Daisy on Instagram sent this to me. I want to give a huge shout out because she's really cute rainbow jewelry. Uh, over here we have some sweaters and extra merch. This is a rainbow bag. Tart gave it to me for my birthday and it made my whole life. Thank you, Tart. Doors over there. There's this wall. There's my <laughs> laundry basket. Oopsies. That's over there. My laundry. Over here we have a dresser. On top we have some shells. All in here, we have a nice little candle. Workout clothes, even though I don't work out. A Billie Eilish, a beanie, a speaker, a gay skirt. We have this decor as well, super cool. And then a planner, which I've really been on top of. Look how cool my nails are, guys. My phone right here, which has Pokemon. I have all of these right here. How could you forget the coral? We have sweatpants. I still have Eva's sweatpants. Sorry, Eva. Sweatshirts. Thank you, Joe and Graceffa. Sweatshirts. Thank you, Alicia. Pajamas. More workout clothes and pajamas. We have empty bins. These normally go underneath my bed. That is this whole area. Whoa, there's my bed. As a little baby Jesse, I always had a canopy. I was a very easy kid. My mom will tell you, I just never complained about anything. I always sat there and I was like, hee hee. So much so that a little boy came over that we were family friends with when I had a canopy when I was little and he ripped it off. He literally ripped it. And I remember I was so heartbroken. So I kind of wanted to relive my canopy moment with this. And look, it's so nice. You just go and you lay and then Sometimes I just lay down on my laptop and I have the lights on and it's so pretty and relaxing. It's not like a full-on canopy like I had before, but it kind of still gives me like my princess fantasy. <laughs> We've got this as well, underwater themed. This is where I film. There's a huge window here. We have some really cool pillows. Comfy! I love it because right there it just looks so pretty. We have another lamp. I have another cooler. I just related to recovery i would like wake up sweating in the middle of the night a lot which is super normal when your hormones are kind of getting normal again a little rainbow right here i have a flounder <laughs> this room would not be complete without the flounder i bought it from hot topic i have some vinyls i have blue neighborhood it's one of my favorites and i also have panic at the disco and then we've got the window. This brings all the natural light. Here's my little view. I have blackout dark blue curtains. I'm really sensitive to light and I just also am really sensitive sleeper. So I'm very particular about like the blackout curtains being closed perfectly. Anyways, this is my room. Ah, yay! 
Yay! Goodbye. <laughs> this is honestly sad, but really happy for me at the same time because it's about time I move. Recently, I had very harmful thoughts towards myself and I have realized the fact that I let myself get to this point is really sad. I feel weird filming a really happy video and not being fully serious and honest about something. But if there's one thing I've really learned the past week of my life, actually, it's that you need to treat yourself like your best friend. And if you don't treat your best friend right, that's not okay. If your best friend is like, I'm overworked, you're not gonna be like, suck it up. If your best friend is depressed and not happy where they're living, you're not gonna tell them to torture themselves. If your best friend is engaging in unhealthy coping mechanisms, or even like, if you're feeding your best friend, you're not going to feed yourself a ton of unhealthy food at once or not anything at all. So I've just really been practicing that. Sorry, um, it's been really good for me and I just kind of wanted to set the video and remind everyone to do that because that's been so important to me. Yeah, treat yourself like your own best friend because I'm really bad at that. I don't treat myself very well. I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah, and that started actually with moving from somewhere that does not make me happy currently. As much as I love the decor of this apartment, like I said, it's just associated with so many really, really bad moments in my life that I'm actually really excited to start fresh. But comment down below what theme I should make my next apartment because I'm kind of obsessed with themes, like my 80s and my mermaid. I, I'm like, I just couldn't see myself ever with a plain apartment. I wear M&M shirts. I love you. And I'm gonna feature your pages on the screen. I love you. As well as your posts. Get it? They're just the pages. I don't know. And when you guys make group chats and talk to each other and support each other, I'm just really proud. Okay. I love you a lot. And I hope you have a really good day. Okay, bye.